Your second option when performing a dash displacement is a dash roll using your ram. When performing a dash displacement, stabilizing under the A-post is recommended. Take only the glass necessary to perform your extrication. Peel and peak the interior, removing the covering of the A post, B post, C post, as well as the roof rail. Looking for airbags, airbag gas canisters, seat belt pretensioners, and seat belt backing plates. When cutting seat belts, pull them all the way out and then cut at a 45 degree angle. Create a purchase point. Here again we use a vertical lift, also called a window spread, to create an opening on the pin side. Place your spreader into your purchase point to pop the door open. To remove the front door, it is usually faster and easier to cut the hinges. Make relief cuts in the front fender so you can spread it upward. Removing the front fender makes it easier for you to see the A-post and the firewall that you must cut. The most important step in this dash displacement is the relief cut in the A-post. Make one single cut at the bottom of the A-post between the hinges. Cut through the entire A-post and deep into the firewall. Place the relief cut at the top of the A-post, cutting a 4-inch piece out of the post. To confirm that the fender rail has been compromised, consider cutting or crushing it. Identify where your shock tower is located and stay away from it. Before rolling the dash with your ram, place stabilization under the B-post. Anchor your ram against the B-post and roll the dash up and away. When performing a dash roll on a two-door coupe or full-size truck or SUV, you may need to use a modified Halligan anchor point due to the large doors on these vehicles. Place your Halligan in line with the rocker panel and hammer the horn into the rocker panel where needed. Stabilize under the Halligan and then using the Halligan adds as your anchor, place your ram against it and roll the dash up and away. The dash roll creates an obvious patient removal problem due to the ram positioning. To remove your patient, crib up the displaced dash and then you can safely remove the ramp. 